Welcome back, Hubble Collectors and Diecast. This is to another episode of Curbs Garage. I jumped the gun. It turns out that I have more bugs than a sketchy motel mattress. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, so we got a few more to look at. Um, this one here is um, from, I think, the something 60s. Um, all chrome. You got the 68. Probably the year that this bug is supposed to be. Orange uh, interior. And um, got the five wheel spokes and the middle base and the red lines around the wheels there. And then next up, I'm going to show you the red lines. Save the best for last. The evil weevil. And. Um, that is, uh, got the dual engines. Um, I forget who the designer is on that one. But uh, the blue, Spectralium Blue, is the most common one. But, uh, pretty cool piece. Now we've got uh, the, um, these are all the 19, um, 68 part of the sweet 16 um custom volkswagen this is a ira gifford and harry bradley um collaboration and i've got quite a bit in different conditions but i pick them up every time it's kind of like the um the um Red Baron, and this one's pretty thrashed. This is uh, an American man. And I like how the, how it, I just noticed it, how it says Volkswagen, the font. Um, the other thing I noticed that it's actually a one seater, which we'll get to. I'm gonna get a better one. So you see the steering wheel, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's right down the center in the seat. So it's kind of like a, um, like a funny car, just a one seater right in the center. If it lifted up, it would. That's what it would be like. I've always thought it was just a regular bug, up until uh, recently. So, yeah, got the red line cap wheels, Spectra Flame. Got the sunroof that slides open and closes. in a pretty, I guess that would be considered copper. It's pretty dark to be a burnt orange, but I got a one to compare to. Let's put this guy here. Put this one here. Slight shades different. Jet is getting his two cents. Woke him up, unfortunately. He's gonna try to cause problems. Yes, me. Just showing some bugs, Jet. Just hold on. This one's uh, windows are pretty fogged out. Just look at the steering wheel from the sunroof. There's another one. I guess that would be uh, gold in color. And we have a uh, have something we can share. Uh, this here is the USA base, and here is the Hong Kong base. Um, those four rectangles, 
is uh, how you can tell the difference. And uh, this one's the teal. Also, the Hong Kong has a blue tinted window and um, the American made are clear. So that's how you can tell kind of the difference between um, the 68, 69 Hot Wheels from America and Hong Kong is the Hong Kong will have blue tinted windows and have the square rectangles on the bottom and American will have clear and uh, just a pretty solid base. There's also a wheel difference. Um, let's see if I can find a decent one. So if you look closely, there's a, a hole right there. I believe that's what it is. And so that the axle goes through. And the American ones, they're pretty, pretty solid. It's nice purple. Probably the best one I got. American. Then we have this olive one. I remember buying this one at the swap meet. It was pretty thrashed, and the lady tried to sell it to me for $70 because it was olive. And uh, I talked her down to like 20 or 30 bucks or something like that. kind of antifreeze another one to compare the colors two blue ones here and um, that is it for the Volkswagen bugs um, with the roofs next uh, before, I'm gonna take a break from the Volkswagen bugs I got so much to look at it's probably getting boring but uh, we'll look at the convertibles the Carmageddon's the squarebacks and things like that but I have a I think a fun little break video that I'm gonna put up that uh, I don't see or you don't see on any YouTube channel as far as die casts go uh, just something fun um, to check out so stay tuned for that and uh, happy hunting hope you're enjoying your long um, weekend so um, talk to you later bye